as somebody who understands both the SEOR side uh, at, a, at a functional level and the healthcare side at a functional level, I think the great benefit uh, to this conference for an engineer, an operations researcher, a, a graduate student um, is <coughs> uh, other conferences of healthcare OR are all theory. Uh, it's good work, it's interesting work, um, but you're interacting with people who are like you. Uh, as, a, as a student uh, or somebody looking to make a, a, a career in healthcare OR, coming together, learning how to talk to physicians, how to talk to administrators, uh, what uh, the values are on the healthcare industry side um, that can be put into a model, what the data requirements and restrictions are, um, and, uh, and, and how complex some of these human systems can be. Uh, is something that you're not going to get at another conference, uh, even a conference focused on healthcare OR. The the beauty of it is having the people um, who who are caring for patients on a daily basis together uh, in the same room, interacting about the same problems uh, in a way that you're not going to get uh, in other meetings or potentially uh, in in your home. Uh, one of the highlights of this year's conference that I'm particularly looking forward to is uh, the talk by Professor David Lane, uh, who is from my alma mater in graduate school, the London School of Economics. And Dr. Lane is a, is an expert in system dynamics and uh, system dynamics modeling, in particular in healthcare. And uh, I will never forget the first lecture that I attended where he was describing the system dynamics of filling a glass of water and using that to, to provide the first illustration of the concept of reinforcing loops uh, and uh, balancing loops and, and, and how to think about the, the various uh, uh, influences in a system that reach equilibrium. So not only that, uh, it, it's just kind of a treat to see uh, you know, somebody from, uh, from grad school, you know, kind of the good old days, um, where I, all I could do, all I had to do, is kind of think deep thoughts and uh, and uh, and not have to worry about actually accomplishing anything. Uh, and now, kind of being able to take what he's learned and uh, and will teach us and put it into some practice.